neuromuscular function of the glute max muscle. In other words, not just its pure strength, but how it uses strength in a variety of different movements. It has been shown that a neuromuscular strengthening program for your glutes helps you prevent hamstring cramp. In my previous video, I took you through phase one of this program, which focused on more isolated muscle recruitment. In other words, we just made the exercise very simple and zoned in to very small little movements to try and really get effective strengthening and activation of that glute max muscle. In this phase, we're going to be building the strengthening into more functional tasks. In other words, weight bearing tasks. So this means that you're requiring the glute max to move and to work while you're actually bearing weight through your legs. In strengthening, we can talk about open kinetic chain and closed kinetic chain movements. When we are weight bearing, we are targeting the closed kinetic chain movements, which are required for more functional kind of tasks. This phase is going to last from 5 weeks through to 16 weeks, so it's going to be a 3 month long strengthening program. You might find that you will have to progress these exercises as you go along by increasing the repetitions or the number of sets that you do to make them harder and allow your body to adapt to more and more load. This is ultimately how we acquire adaptation in our muscles and ultimately become a lot stronger. Before we go any further, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please won't you do so by hitting this button down below on the bottom left hand side of the screen. I really rely on your subscriptions to grow my channel and I would love to continue bringing you information about physio and preventing injuries for all your triathlon needs. Don't forget to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button. This just allows YouTube to notify you when I've released a new video. Our first exercise is going to be what we can call band walks. You will be needing a different strength band depending on your type. So you can choose either of these mini bands, they should be available from any nearby sports store or pharmacy. The different colours represent different strengths according to what your specific strength of your muscle group is. You can also use one of these longer therabands, bands, which you can just tie at the end if you already have one of those lying around at home. So what you're going to do, you're going to place the band around your knees. You want to get your knees into a 45 degree flexed angle so you're almost in a squat position. The focus of this exercise is to pull your knees out into the band to maintain neutral lower limb alignment. So in other words, you want the front of your hip bones over here to be in line with the center of your kneecap and then in line with your second toe. So you don't want the band pulling your knees inwards, you want to work outwards against the band. From the side it will look like this and if you stick your thumbs into your sides of your hips you should, as you pull your knees out, you should feel a muscle hardening under your fingers in that area. The aim of the exercise is to take small side steps, side to side by pushing into the band. As you step you don't want your knees to crump inwards, remember we're trying to maintain neutral alignment. If you can find a 10 meter strip of open floor area, I would like you to walk up and down that strip three times. As the exercise goes, you should start feeling a really good muscular burn in that area of your hips. From the side, that is the angle you should be in. Make sure you're not sticking your bum out too much. Tuck it in, activate your core, and get your shoulders back. And that is what the exercise will look like from the side. You can also change the exercise up a bit and you can do more of a forward walk, maintaining the same alignment by keeping your knees over your second toe, walking forwards and back. Pretty simple exercise, very effective exercise, and very quickly in the exercise, you should be feeling that really good muscular burn. The second exercise we're going to be doing is, called, is something called the star excursion exercise. For this exercise, you're going to find a specific spot to stand and make sure you have about a meter of clearance around you. If you can picture a star shape 
on the ground, you will be standing in the middle of the stone. I'm going to demonstrate the exercise first and then we'll explain how to do the exercise after that.
lunges. You're just going to place a pair band around your mid thigh area. And you're going to be lunging forward onto your leg, dropping your knee to just above the ground, about 75% down, not all the way onto the ground, and making sure that both knees are working outwards into the band and not dropping inwards. You're going to drive back up off your front leg by using that glute and pushing yourself back up to the vertical position before then dropping that same leg back behind you and dropping that knee down, again working out into the band. Before you come up, you're going to push off of that back leg and use your left glute, that one over there, to push back up to vertical. I want you to do five of these on each side and repeat that three times. Till then, take care and I'll see you in the next video.